What do I do with my hands? Wiggle them around. What's up guys? On today's video, we're in South Dakota. We're here at the C4 Fabrication uh, headquarters. I'm here with Jen. I'm gonna make sure to put a link down below to her Instagram. How's it going? Good. How's everything? Yeah. How was the drive here? You, you drove here for like 14 hours, right? From Canada? 18. 18 hours? 18. Yeah. I don't know where I heard 14. Uh, from, from Calgary it was, but I live north. Okay. Four yeah. hours north. How was that drive? Did you hit any cool places along the way? No, it's mostly grass. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's 90% it's grass. So tell me, what's gonna happen with your truck? What are we gonna do? Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, a front, Caleb's new uh, hybrid front bumper. Uh, rear bumper with a tire swing out and uh, actually skid plates that haven't been done on an access cap before. Oh, no way. That's yeah. going to be sweet. Yeah. It's going to be really cool. Make sure to stay tuned, guys. It's going to be awesome. Were you scared when they were going to cut your truck? Uh, no, more excited than scared. For sure. Can't wait to see what it'll look like. guys I am in Caleb's Tundra this thing is badass we're on our way to pick up uh, the bumpers from the powder coating factory right yes sir all right guys just like that just finished picking them up we also had coffee on the way here what did you guys get we got a mocha to stop the Sturgis coffee what did you get, Austin? I got a white chocolate mocha, I think. Yeah. Let's go back. Alright guys, so everything has been chopped off the Tacoma. We're ready to put the bumpers. Caleb right now is working on putting all the lights in the front bumper. Alright guys, the front bumper is on. This thing looks incredible. Caleb, how easy is it to install this for someone that's you know just gonna do it? Just finished pur purchasing the, the, the bumper. Um, it's pretty easy. easy. Really, we've got an install video that shows everything you would need to know. Um, the video, it's not real long. You can learn, learn it all pretty quickly. You just cut the plastic right along the top here. It lines up the top of the bumper. 
and uh, you know our instruction guy, guy shows you how to do that pretty easy with uh, just tools you can use at home. So, and then after that, bumper just bolts straight on. Nothing else complicated about it. That's awesome, man. This thing looks sweet. Do you have a name for your truck? My name's Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yeah. That's Elizabeth right there, guys. Yeah. Let us know down in the comments what have you named your truck? Jen, so you have your front bumper installed, you have your rear bumper. That thing is looking sweet. Yeah. It just went up a hundred badass points. And what's, a ton of weight. <laughs> oh yeah, and a ton of weight. So what's what's the next step? I know you have suspension coming your way. You're going yeah. with Kings, right? Yeah, I got a set of Kings and um, some upper control arms and then probably re-gear. You're gonna re-gear? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, cool. Definitely guys, you guys have to re-gear, especially if you're going up in diameter like you have to re-gear. Yeah. I had this conversation with Max Powell. When I re-geared, it was just game changer. You're gonna yeah. love it. Yeah. You're gonna get the power back from your truck. All right, guys, I'm here with Jen. We're gonna go test out the rig. Uh, we're gonna go get a couple pictures right now. The truck is looking awesome. It was a lot of fun to see how it transformed. Sorry. There's a bee in here. Uh-oh, we have a bee in the car. So your truck before it started, it had only the that small bumper. Was it a hybrid one? You said it wasn't. No, he, uh, he, made, he makes a slot-in bumper, very minimal cutting uh, kind of just fits in the front very nicely it can handle a winch I haven't got one yet um, and then a little 25 inch light bar so this one this one's a full bumper cool yeah and it, and it looked nice like your truck looked nice before but now it just completely got transformed you had the sliders you got the overland bed rack and the CVT tent before coming here that's right C4 added the now added the hybrid that's right yeah, I really, uh, I wanted the full front bumper. I love the look of being able to see the entire tire um, while off-roading, which I do actually do. Um, Guys, not only does she <laughs> off-road, but I found out she drives stick. Check that out. That's so badass. All right, so you got all this armor in your truck, right? Mm -hmm. You got your front bumper, rear high clearance bumper with the tire mount. It's heavy. And you can skid feel plates. this thing is and heavy. And skid plates. Skid plates and sliders, right? But you already had the sliders, so. I already had the sliders, yeah. But all this weight, do you feel it? Very much so. It's heavy. Do you think you need to re-gear now? 100%. Uh, Re-gearing is definitely going to be a priority uh, when I get back up north. That's cool. And you, you do a lot of wheeling up there. We're, we've had a few talks here and there. Um, what's your favorite spot up in Canada? that you really like to go and hit and just wheel with your friends? Um, there's there's a whole bunch of trails in the surrounding area. Uh, I'm not living in Calgary anymore, but that's where I was. Um, just 
about an hour and a half out of Calgary. There's about two areas. One has a bit more rock crawling than the other. The other one is more trails. Um, I'd have to say uh, the one I like the most is it's called Wipress. Uh, you can get out to some really cool waterfalls, um, tons of different trails, lots of camping, um, and great views of the mountains. So that's probably my favorite place to go. The other one gets pretty muddy, uh, a lot, <laughs> lot more rock crawling, tight, tight trails. Yeah, uh, you and Nick were telling me that overlanding over there and just the whole wheeling scene is completely different from the US from what you've seen, correct? What I've heard is uh, um, a lot of our trails, because we're so limited with uh, where we can go and uh, who owns the land and stuff like that, um, and I, I don't even know how much respect for the land plays into it, if that's affected the trails getting closed and whatnot. But uh, yeah, Nick was explaining that, uh, and he, he knows the trails like the back of his hand. Uh, he's been doing them for years, so he's slowly watched them diminish the amount of available trails for us um, for whatever reason, could be many reasons. And what got you into this whole scene, the overlanding scene, the building your truck? Were you always like this growing up? What no. was your previous vehicle? Uh, you know what? I grew up, I learned stick on an 89 Honda Accord, a burgundy one. Nice. And then uh, my first vehicle was a 91 Mazda 626 Turbo. That thing's, it was zippy. I liked it. And uh, had a couple more Civics and then a 2005 Corolla. And I just, I'd always wanted a pickup, but I never had any use for it. And uh, once I finally got to a point in my life where I could, uh, Tacoma was the right size, uh, manual transmission. Those are pretty much the only two standards for me, uh, pun intended, uh, <laughs> standard. Um, yeah, so this was just, it was just a pickup. And then I started learning of, or seeing all these trucks that looked different. I actually lost my job five months after buying my vehicle and I had a lot of time to get on the gram and see all these different builds and talk to people, actually more so in the California area, um, about their builds, what they do. Saw this community of Tacomas, which I didn't know about at all. Um, and just kind of immersed myself. Not having a job at that time gave me a lot of time to have a look and see what the community was like. and I actually earlier on so this was about two and a half years ago that's when i started talking to mateo at tacoma beast and caleb at c4 uh they've been um with me through this entire journey the last two years which have been a bit of a struggle for me uh, i've made some huge sacrifices just to be able to keep my vehicle um happy to say now i i'm in a position where i'm able to to keep it and uh don't have to really worry about getting rid of it I do live in the middle of nowhere, which isn't the best thing, but uh, had I not made that decision and sacrificed um, time with my family and my friends, uh, then I wouldn't have been able to follow my passion to do this. And I literally wouldn't be here today with uh, Mateo and Caleb and a super supportive group of people that share this passion. It's so amazing. No, and it's been really cool to see your account grow. I remember when you reached out to us, it was really cool, guys. We definitely recommend you ask as many questions, not just to one, but many people uh, out there. That about wraps it up, guys. We have to hit the trail. Let me know what you guys think of Jen's truck. I'll see you guys on the next video. We'll have more pictures by then. Yeah, let's do it.